I'm going to turn it over to you, Sarah. Uh, as the president, you can tee up this whole show and however you want to run it, but we're all super excited to hear from you. Great. Thank you so much. I'll go ahead and start sharing my screen. We're super excited to be here today and excited to share what we're doing with Cloud at California. Can you see the screen I'm sharing? It's black. Yep, yeah, there it goes. OK, great. All right, well, thanks again for the introduction. Again, we're super excited to be here. My name is Sarah Parks, and I'm the president of VP Internal of Cloud at California. And I want to start off by sharing the story of cloud. We can share a little bit more about who we are and how we connect to the Berkeley Cloud community. So last spring in 2020, uh, a few of us students got together and decided to form a organization centered on bridging the gap between your standard computer science, data science, or just in general Berkeley education and cloud literacy in the industry. So some of our founders had taken internships at, in industry that had to do with cloud and felt like they were barely staying afloat. They didn't have that knowledge going into it that would have allowed them to succeed or maybe do more well in those roles. And they also wanted to continue incorporating their cloud education into their academic experience following those internships. So we founded Cloud at Cal in March and we brought on our first product managers that summer. We completed our first projects that summer, which you'll learn a little bit more about later. We brought in over 30 new members this spring and going into the spring semester now, we just incorporated a brand new research branch. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about what exactly our organization entails on top of all of those things now. But as we were founded, we were dedicated to promoting cloud literacy and we're an organization based on education that is still true today. And our goal is to spread our love of cloud technologies to students, regardless of their background or major. And we're actually the first student-based cloud technology organization on campus. So with that, I'd like to introduce the rest of the amazing executive team. Again, my name is Sarah Parks. I'm president and VP of Internal. I'm a second year industrial engineering and operations research major with a data science minor. And I'll hand it off to Raj to introduce himself. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, what's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Raj. I'm currently at third year uh, studying business and data science. And for uh, Cloud of California, otherwise what we call CLAC, like within each other, uh, I'm the VP of Research and Exploration of the new branch that Sarah talked about, and we'll touch upon later. Hey, guys. Uh, my name is Aman Supariwala. I am the VP external, one of the VP externals of Cloud of California. Uh, I'm the director of the development and consulting branch as well. Awesome. And I am Hannah Chia. I'm currently a third year studying data science here, minoring in Asian American studies. And I am this year's VP of education. Awesome, y'all. Thanks for those intros. And this awesome team is also leading our org, which I'm going to share a little bit more about what that looks like. Oops, sorry. Go back one. Great. So this is our structure. Like we just heard, we have four main branches, education, external via research and exploration, external via consulting or development, and internal, which handles logistics, it handles onboarding, member affairs, and importantly, professional development, which I think is where a lot of you all might come in and interact with our students and members. So the back of our organization on top of all those things is really the students, researchers, developers, and internal team. And to share a little bit more about our education program, I'd like to invite Hannah to talk about that. Awesome. Thank you, Sarah. So yeah, Sarah kind of spoke a little bit about our origin story where our clubs, like where me and my friends realized that this new technology, cloud tech, is you know something we didn't learn in school. We had to learn by trial by fire in the industry. And to talk more about Berkeley, at the moment, Berkeley does not really have any formal classes to really teach cloud computing. Like there have been some recent classes created and run by students, but they're not actually like a formal class. So we decided to kind of take it upon ourselves and share our knowledge and kind of what we learned with those who are interested in learning and more of like a community setting. So yeah, our education branch welcomes around 20 students and it's more targeted to those who don't have experience with cloud technology. And we specifically use Amazon Web Services since that is the tech that we are most experienced in. And our curriculum is really centered around the AWS practitioners exam. 
where we'll cover both the architectural theory and some hands-on development projects through like weekly lectures, labs, and projects. And you'll see all the microservices here on the screen. And yeah, although like lectures, labs, projects do sound very like classroom-esque, we do try to keep things fun because, you know, we're still a club. We love showing cool demos such as like using AWS to host a Minecraft server. And yeah, like unlike a traditional class, our club also offers to pay for our students exam certifications while also preparing them to apply their knowledge to other branches, such as, you know, the development branch and research branch. So yeah, now I could pass it off to Amon to kind of talk more about those projects in the development branch. Absolutely. Thank you, Hannah, so much for that intro about the education branch. And like Hannah mentioned, the idea is to kind of build a community where students are getting the opportunity to apply their learnings, you know, inside and outside the classroom through the education branch and then transfer those learnings into real applications. And one of those real applications is the development and consulting, the development and consulting branch. And so with the development and consulting branch, what we offer is an opportunity for students to take part in consulting projects with startups in and around the Bay Area and really in and around the United States in this virtual environment that we're in now. Uh, and, and actually apply the learnings of their cloud curriculum to these startups, adding value, you know, providing them with strategy in the form of cloud technology and infrastructure and really building their you know, resume of cloud, um, of cloud knowledge. And so some of the projects that we've gotten to work on this past summer of 2020, really the first project that Cloud of California got to embark in was with Ansari Math, where we developed a serverless app architecture and a DNS setup completely in the cloud, built fully on AWS, in incorporating different tools and technologies that allowed students and tutors to pair with each other, allowed students and tutors to chat with each other and match with each other and actually have this full architecture built and scalable completely on the cloud. And so that was the really, that was like the first project that Cloud of California was responsible. And from there, we kind of built our understanding of how we can structure this organization and structure the development branch to incorporate product managers, to incorporate developers and actually have individual teams working on different consulting projects. And so like, like Sarah mentioned earlier in the fall, we had the opportunity to you know, actually recruit new members to the organization. And when we had those 30 new members, about 10 of them were developers. And from these cloud developers and product managers, myself being one of those product managers, we got to start on our first client project of the fall in the first semester of Cloud of California, and that was Main Street. And so Main Street is a uh, startup accelerator for home service startups. Essentially, if you have a company that provides painting services or landscape services, for instance, Main Street offers you startup acceleration in the form of providing you a digital presence right away. And so what we did for Main Street was a lot of strategizing and infrastructure development so that they could scale their acceleration in the same form that different verticals could help. So now they're, now they're serving industries that are way past home services. And now they have the capabilities to scale all of their infrastructure and all of their internal architecture that exists already, but into so many different uh, industries and so many, so many varieties of, of clients and, con and consumers for their product. And now we have the opportunity again this spring to work with Main Street and, you know, and on a whole new level you know, developing machine learning pipelines for their incoming data streams and feeding that to them in the form of backend APIs, again, built fully on the cloud. So this is our way of really leveraging AWS. And I say AWS because that's what the development branch uses primarily since the education branch is teaching the AWS curriculum. And really, but really any cloud, any backend infrastructure, the beauty of it is that you can provide that as value to any company in the form of a development or a consulting project. And then finally, another project that we started working on uh, this December and continued into the spring semester is um, with Scout AI. Scout AI is a, a built-in platform that manages the workflow of drop shipping and reselling and allows users to have all of their important metrics and performance and anything that comes with drop shipping and reselling into one management platform. And, so what we helped them do was migrate all of their backend workers and servers into a completely serverless architecture using uh, SAM, again, built fully on AWS. And so these different projects are opportunities, again, for our developers who might be fed in from the education branch or might come in with extra knowledge directly into the development branch 
to apply what they know about cloud and apply what they know about technology and infrastructure in the form of scalability and really get to see what kind of value they can add to startups in the community and, and actually test themselves on the cloud knowledge that they know. And one of the things I'd like to mention is a lot of the product managers who are part of these three teams are here on this call. So if you have any questions about the specific project or the specific technology or just the, the passion behind the development branch, feel free to ask any of our product managers who are on this call today. And I'm sure they'll have a bunch of answers for you because they're all really excited about this work and about the projects that they've been a part of. And they know a lot about you know, what, what, what went on and what the ideas were behind each of those decisions that were made. <clears throat> Thank you, Mon. <clears throat> so after our first semester with our internal student and developer branch, um, going into this semester, especially with a lot of students who are very eager to really explore cloud, uh, we really wanted to give them the opportunity to do that as much as possible, which therefore led to our inspiration for the new branch for this spring, and hopefully going forward, uh, our research and exploration branch. And when we really talk about connecting this club and making this cl uh, cloud learning as grouped and as team essence as possible, this is what we want, really want this branch to represent along, along with making an impact and wherever they want to. So um, our two main activities within this research branch are gonna be A, journalism, where uh, students or any developers will, will be able to keep up to date uh, with the cloud activity, uh, writing articles, but also um, presenting to other students, devs, or other people in the club about new microservices, new projects or companies in the cloud scene. So we can, so they can not, not only can they uh, like understand cloud more, but also um, really teach the students and devs about maybe ins inspiring them about maybe future tracks to take, really making this yet again, some of that group learning. And secondly, we have our explorative projects um, where for those who are uh, really eager to de develop their own journey um, and they can pretty much ideally create and code whatever they want to. So like we've already had some interest in maybe creating an economic model um, or a help or a help app. And it's gonna be really exciting to see what um, we, our researchers really come up with this semester and hopefully we'll get the chance to share that with you guys. But uh, a key part of this research branch is this mentorship that we really wanna um, apply um, for all these researchers. We're creating like this circular um, like flow of knowledge among researchers, devs and students and the entire team. And so currently this mentorship can come through maybe more like elder like students who maybe know some more about cloud and can help some younger students with their research projects or potentially some of you guys, which is kind of um, a bit of why we're here today in which if you guys have any ideas or projects or thoughts about um, ways for students to really explore and learn or maybe some project of your own that you maybe want some student insight in. Um, we would love for you guys to reach out to us and uh, provide us feedback or any thoughts, um, either through the chat or via our emails or social medias. So uh, here are our uh, LinkedIn, Instagram email. So feel free to reach out to us there in the chat. Um, but overall, uh, thank you guys for listening and um, we're ready for any questions that you guys can have. Awesome, I guess, uh, oh wow, my, my video actually pops up now. We did uh, get a question in the private chat asking me how many students have we trained so far and to what level with our curriculum. So yeah, since our first education branch was started last semester, uh, we had 22 students who were trained and but last year's curriculum was like, you know, still on its trial phase, which I mean, it still is, it's still being developed as well, just always improving. But uh, so it's been a pretty, uh, yeah, basic sort of knowledge uh, in terms of our education at the moment. And I also got another question. Are you working with the OCF or Cal Hacks? Um, to our knowledge right now, I think the only extent we've worked with the OCF was to host our website. And with Cal Hacks, we have currently not tried reaching out to them yet, but we'd love to eventually you know, form some relationships as a new club. I don't know if Sarah also wants to kind of talk about that because Sarah's really behind all the outreach in our community. Yeah, absolutely. We, like Hannah said, we don't have any current relationship with CalHacks, but as is the nature of some of our development projects that Aman was sharing, there's definitely a lot of application and also opportunity for collaborative projects. So if you're, if you know anyone in CalHacks or in any of these groups, we're absolutely excited about 
about forming those partnerships and, and seeing how we can help each other. I see Aaron, you have your hand raised. Yeah, uh, it's great to see everything that you're doing. This is uh, really incredible work. And uh, I'm interested in the machine learning pipelines. And then on your website, you have like a past project around uh, a web scraping analytics pipeline. Um, and so I'd be curious to learn more about those. If there's any highlights you wanna uh, say more about those. And also, do you have GitHub repos of the stuff that you're creating? I'd love to see the behind the scenes, you know, any code and infrastructure. Yeah, thank you, Aaron, for asking about that. So the machine learning pipeline project that we're working on with Main Street is ongoing. Um, the idea is to display these, if not in a, GitHub, in a GitHub repo, on our website with more like specific project pages. Um, and you're, you're absolutely right about like, having having deliverables shown on our website or having deliverables shown on like a repo so people can take a look at the raw code that we're producing and that's something that we're working on again being like in the first year of our development in the first year of our construction we're still a little unsure about what goes into like non-disclosures what we're able to share and stuff like that so so this is the kind of stuff we're kind of like playing with back and forth as we try to develop a digital presence and a presence on the uc berkeley community but also share the beauty of computing that we're trying to do here. So I hope that answers your question to the fullest extent, but the idea is as we produce these deliverables at these calls, we'd be able to share these kind of deliverables and actually show you guys some of the stuff that we're able to produce in the development branch or in the consulting or in the research branch, et cetera. Yeah, that'd be really great to see. And I imagine the work that you're doing externally is probably more encumbered and more difficult. Whereas the projects like with bids and, and so on, when they're internal, it's maybe a different equation. And so my, my role is the, at the deputy director at the D-Lab. Um, we do a lot of consulting. And so we might wanna think how we connect in with the consulting that you do because the scope of practice that we have is really more around guidance, but it looks like you're taking on project work. It's almost like time and materials, whether you're getting paid or not uh, to do that kind of consulting. That's out of scope for the consult consulting we provide. So there might be a referral stream of projects, especially projects at Berkeley that we can help you out with. That would be so awesome. I really appreciate you saying that because it's it's really interesting that that's that's kind of the, the flow that we started with in the beginning of our development branch. We started with a lot more strategizing and a lot more providing problem points that exist in our clients current infrastructure and current code base. But now we've kind of transitioned into more hands on development and hands on pipelining for them. And so it's really great that you say that. And we really appreciate any opportunities that you could provide to the development branch of Cloud of California for for these kind of like referral systems or for these kind of like growth opportunities for both of our for both of our organizations. Thank you, Aaron. Great. I'll reach out to you after this. Thanks. Appreciate it. Any other questions for us? Uh, while people are thinking of questions, uh, Greg, there was a question for you from the previous one about when is the next Azure meeting, uh, Azure Interest Meet Group. Here I am. Thanks for that. I missed it in the chat. Um, I haven't scheduled it yet, um, but looking uh, likely in uh, mid late February at this point. The cadence we've had two. The cadence has been one a month. So, yeah, uh, and I'll, I'll send it out to the to to the the same. Um, uh, campus email lists. And um, also, if, if anyone on here now or wants to DM me, or I, I can put my email in the chat. Um, and if so, someone wants to be sure to be included, I'd be happy to do that. So I'll put that in. Cool. Thanks, Greg. Any other questions for Cloud at Cal? Well, thank you for coming and presenting. Uh, I'm looking forward to future talks. I think we're going to meet next week. I know Walter's already um, very excited to, uh, we'll, we'll get together and put our heads together and see how uh, us in the Berkeley IT side of the fence can work with you and help support this effort. Um, so thank you. <laughs>